Thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to talk about is how I got a software developer job in the Flutter stack. So some pre-context. Uh, I have a diploma in applied drama and psychology which is not related to any tech or I have never learned any tech except for maybe some analysis but that's about it. Nothing IT related at all. I went to a web development bootcamp of three months full stack in Ruby on Rails in this school called Alpha Camp. So I think I chose them because they are the cheapest and at the same time that was the hardest moment in my life like learning programming from zero experience and it was something that I think uh, not many people would love to go through again but it is something that have pushed me from a zero experience in programming to some experience in programming. And funny story is that initially I wanted to do iOS programming but they didn't have enough students so they pushed me into the web stack bootcamp instead. After graduating in the bootcamp, I went to have an internship in this company called Tinker Tanker where they are an educational company that teach programming which I think was beneficial for me because it gave me a chance for me to explore all the different various technologies that they were teaching for example some data science, blockchain, game development and I was still interested in doing mobile development and one of my intern buddies he introduced me to Flutter which was in beta back then and when I tried it, it was fantastic. And that made me want to find a job that has the Flutter stack in it. And I was very, very determined to get a job. So what I did was I really spent a lot of time after work learning Flutter and building projects, buying Udemy courses, go to YouTube to just learn and learn, read their documentation and such. Maybe I'm the person who is more passionate in the stack rather than the place that I want to work in. So I tried searching for jobs that have a Flutter dev job in Singapore. However, sadly there isn't any. So I just went to my LinkedIn and update. I was exploring data science, Flutter and Alexa skill. And then a few days later, during my internship, somebody messaged me on LinkedIn about Flutter which was fantastic and the person was a co-founder of PS Love and he wants my I remember two cents on Flutter we arranged a place to meet and when we met uh, I shared more about my development experience uh, my experience with Flutter and a, a job opportunity so after the meeting, one week passed and I hear nothing from him. So what I did was I did a follow-up email saying that what are the necessary steps that I have to take. At the same time, I shared with him some Flutter articles that I think was useful. At the same time, I was ending my internship. So the pressure was there to find a software developer job. A few days passed and... He replied and he said that there will be another interview that I'm going through with the other co-founder of the company and when I went to go for the interview then they had a deeper dive on my knowledge of software development life cycle and what expectations I have in the job itself and I was relieved that I finally had an opportunity for me to learn Flutter and then uh, they offered me an internship position and I accepted it in a heartbeat and that's about it. That was how I got a job as a software developer in the Flutter stack. So in summary, maybe some advice for people who are looking for jobs in Flutter is that from my experience, one thing that worked for me was I updated my LinkedIn so LinkedIn is a really powerful platform for you to find your job. 
And then at the same time, one thing that I want to advise is to be patient. You will probably send a lot of emails. You probably will go through a lot of interviews that never get back to you. That is fine. Instead of me finding the job, someone found me instead. That's why I feel that I'm very lucky that I was able to get this opportunity and did not go through, I guess, the normal process of finding a job where you have to go through many interviews, you have to go through many emails and maybe only a few interviews comes up and then you still have to look for a job many, many months later. However, I feel that the IT industry or the digitalization that's happening right now in Singapore is opening up IT jobs, which I think it's really, so I think it's a really good opportunity for you to learn uh, software development or programming or coding, whether the, it is Flutter or not. And lastly, be honest in your interview. If you don't know, just say you don't know. Honesty is the best policy and this will help the recruiter or, or interviewer on what skill set you have and if they're able to train you and such. So I think that's about it. And that's how I got a job in software development. So in summary, update your LinkedIn, be patient and don't expect them to reply because people are busy. You are not the priority unless you are. All right, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of this kind of videos. All right, so see you guys. Bye-bye.